top five exercises for increasing height naturally these are five essential exercises. the children the parents they're not aware of this if done on a regular basis it has beautiful results this is the part four video of the height growth video series in the previous videos we've spoken about why and how ayurveda has the best results why a safe treatment natural treatment is recommended what is the ayurvedic principles how does a treatment really have an impact on increasing height how does it really work what are the easily available home remedies what are the essential nutrients that boost the overall process of increasing height we've discussed about all of this we've discussed about the base of the building can be only built once so it is the best time in spite of the parents height being short ayurved has the best results information is the first step you're getting the information from this video from this information we need to have an understanding information understanding without action is of no use you get the information you understand the information but along with that action is very very important we need action takers so if you are someone who needs results if you're an action taker have a combination of all the four parts everything is explained to you in this videos make sure you follow it religiously every single day these are five essential exercises you're not aware of extremely beneficial for boosting the process of height growth namaste everyone welcome back to jovis let us start with the first exercise it is having a great posture this one tip will help you life long and this one tip my parents used to tell me this you know during their childhood or at least i remember in my childhood we used to play this game all the children used to stand in one line and we used to hold a spoon in our mouth and there used to be a small marble or two three marbles over that spoon and we used to touch a race line we used to go over there by walking or running or speeding up the one who touches first gets a chocolate gifts and it used to make us very happy similar kind of a game is where we used to keep a book over our head and we used to balance that and we used to run walk touch the race line used to win that game the overall motive is to teach the children what is balance what is attention and also there was an intention of improvising the posture so we tell the parents as the children uh, you know is sitting in this posture do this exercise give them this game to play we have to take this book and we tell the parents to keep the book over here over their head let me balance it now so this must be done and for 10 15 minutes the child must stay like this they must walk they must you know watch the television and they must stay like this this is definitely going to improve the posture after some time take this book off again when the child bends is not having a good posture again do this exercise if you do it for 21 days 30 60 90 days for some period of time lifelong lesson you you know are going to learn the child is going to learn the base of the building can be only built once these habits or these small small habits they are very very important improves the posture has a lot of benefits it you know makes us conscious makes us you know keeps us attentive very very important for the mind as well so first one is posture second one is this exercise which we tell our patients to do on a regular basis in a day for 15 to 30 minutes they must walk on their heels they must walk on their heels and while coming back they must walk on their toes walk on their heels come back on your toes 15 minutes to 30 minutes regularly very very important you will see the calf muscles the hamstrings the glutes they are working out you will experience the ache you get after you do it regularly the soreness the muscle soreness you will experience so very very important more the stretching more height growth very important walk on your heels again come back over your toes stretch while you do this the third exercise is a similar form it is going on your toes stretching waiting there for three four seconds again going over your heels go on your toes stretch well again go on your heels stretch well a similar you know exercise having the similar benefits extremely beneficial these small small aspects they lead to bigger you know great results very important let us move to the next one the fourth exercise which is yoga we cannot complete any exercise 
for height growth without yoga it is beautifully described as yujerani niti yoga that which unites the mind and the body is yoga the body should be in sync with the mind we just don't need to do the exercises for the sake of doing the mind should be in sync with the body every asan that we do it must have three steps the purak the kumbhak the rechak breathe in retain that breath breathe out while you are breathing in the stomach should come out it should be filled with the air so purak kumbhak rechak while doing any asana so the first one is bhujangasan go down on your stomach breathe in go on the bridge posture wait breathe out the second one is tadasan stretch well while you do it the third one is paschim motanasan stretch you know uh, sit down stretch your uh, legs keep it straight don't bend your knee the hand must touch the feet the head must touch the knees knees must not be bent do this hold it for 2 to minutes hold it for 1 1 minute five five rounds you start with increase 1 1 round every single day the next one is hasta padasan extremely beneficial we used to do it in the school times while the teacher used to punish us hand straight go on your feet head touching the knees knees must not be bent hold it for 2 3 minutes do the five rounds increase one round every single day the last one is the trikonasan spread your legs wide spread your hands and then go lateral go straight don't bend up you know in front don't bend behind go lateral do not cheat over here so these are stretching exercises they are very very useful but when you are doing these asanas the mind should be in sync with the body moving to the last aspect the last exercise which is for the mind so i've divided this into two parts first is meditation meditation extremely beneficial over your pituitary stimulation is very very important for growth hormone secretion so we need to stimulate this pituitary gland if we insert something from here and here there is a small gland which is the master of all gland which is called as the pituitary gland so sit down while uh, you know before going to bed or as soon as you wake up once or twice a day compulsory sit down back should be straight hand should be on the thighs with the hands or the palms facing the roof sit gently play a cool calm music keep all your focus on this pituitary gland you can imagine a infinity sign you can imagine a infinity sign and where the uh, you know sign where the dots are joining imagine there you have the you know pituitary gland while you are doing this while you are stimulating this pituitary gland while all your attention is at the pituitary gland you need to imagine your goal that you've already reached it you're already at that stage where you've grown your height as an example this is a great tool to achieve the goal that you want to achieve you need to have a thought along with that thought you need to have an emotion which leads to action so important aspect you need to drink this tea thought emotion action you need to drink this tea regularly rather than the milk tea or the regular tea you take so all your attention at the pituitary gland and imagine that you've already achieved that while you're imagining it, you know this third aspect first is doing it second imagining third while you're doing this there should not be any attachment attachment leads to upsetness sadness if you have attachment to your goal you will be like why is it not happening you will get multiple doubts and questions and confusions so if you are doing an action without attachment you are almost there at the result over here you need to experience that you've reached that stage where you have grown height you're happy how would you feel how would your child feel after he has achieved it you know how does the child we have to tell this beta after you you know achieve this how are you going to feel imagine that over there this is very very important do it for 15 minutes increase the time over the you know period after you do this immediately you need to do the second step which is the shiro pichu we will explain this overall process in our video i'll put the link to shiro pichu in the description box below cotton ball dip it into buttermilk cow's ghee medicated ghee for best results dip it not to dry not to wet lie down head facing the roof and keep this cotton ball at the center where both eyebrows are joining all your focus over here for at least 15 minutes go to sleep as it is imagination visualization manifestation very very important while you do this so first is meditation then is shiro pichu extremely beneficial we see a great transformation in children overall it boosts the process of increasing height first is posture second is walking third is at one place you have to do this while you are standing next is yoga we spoke about five asanas 
भुजंगासन ताड़ासन पश्चिम वटानासन हस्तपादासन एंड वी स्पोक अबाउट त्रिकोणासन द नेक्स्ट इज मेडिटेशन डिवाइड इनटू टू पार्ट द सिंपल पिटरी ग्लैंड स्टिमुलेशन एंड द नेक्स्ट इज शीरो पीचू दीज आर फाइव मेन एक्सरसाइज दैट बूस्ट द ओवरऑल प्रोसेस ऑफ हाइट ग्रोथ वेरी वेरी एसेंशियल information understanding action we need action takers any doubts any questions the comment section is all yours write down your views in the comment section do like and share this video further until next time from jovis and the team look impressive be progressive